Hi Scorpio, how's everybody doing? Before we get into this, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. The Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I'm almost getting the notion of someone like seeing something or finding something out and then like running away. But what a strange vision. Why? Starting off with the Queen of Wands here, feeling yourself. Here that little page of swords is. Somebody's watching you. Somebody that likes you. Energies can always be reversed. If you know you're watching someone, then this is you. A little page of swords. This can be um, someone curious about you. Definitely someone attracted to you. I'm hearing someone feels the attraction. Like, this can be some type of observer, even. Yeah, I'm, I'm just seeing you, like, minding your business, doing your thing, Scorpio, and this person has been watching you. It's like they want to know more about you, something like that. We're going to find out whether or not this is someone you would recognize. I'm definitely seeing a pretty intense aura for you, Scorpio. You're not going to want this. This person is like definitely, definitely attracted to you, but it's someone that you're not going to vibe with this. I'm picking this up immediately. No, this is someone that I'm trying to find the, the best way to put this. If this person ended up approaching you, you would shut this down immediately, I'm seeing. It's like, you wouldn't even like the way that this person communicated with you when they approached you. For some reason, like, I'm getting for some of you, like, someone can be messaging you or DMing you or something like that. They would be hitting on you. Like, for some of you, even, like, sexualizing you in some type of way. Something for sure uncomfortable. Like, I'm just seeing this be super out of balance. Definitely not appealing. The way that I'm seeing it is, it doesn't look like this is somebody that you really have a connection with. It just seems like some random person, even. That's attracted to the Scorpio energy. You responding in a confident way is what's being suggested here. Yeah, this person may be like trying to figure out if you're in a relationship and stuff. I'm seeing such a curious energy. I'm hearing onlooker, but it's like, even if, I'm not seeing you entertain this, but even if you did, it's not something that would end up working out. Like, I'm seeing very incompatible energies here. You're being guided to, like, focus on... Maybe the established relationships that you have right now, maybe for right now, rather than reconnecting with any, reconnecting, rather than connecting with anyone new, maybe reconnecting. This could be an ex for some of you. 
<laughs> if this was an ex, if for those of you that were in a relationship with someone and you ended up breaking up, it was because like someone was not committed to the relationship. Someone was not loyal. I'm hearing wandering eyes. Yeah, it's like you ended stuff because this person was like not serious in the way that you were, was not committed in the way that you were. Like you may see this person as being um, like immature, something for sure out of balance with their sacral energy, but I'm seeing it be more than just that that's going on. Like there's definitely a lack of self-reflection with this person, but they're undeniably attracted to your energy. Um... If this is somebody that reaches out that you don't really know, I'm seeing you shut it down immediately. If this is somebody you had been in a relationship, you ended it like for your own empowerment. Like it was necessary for you to do and you feel good about that still. But it's like they still think about you and the relationship that you had with them. This is somebody from your past. For some reason, I am getting the random energy of, like, for a, a small number of you, this can absolutely be somebody random that's trying to connect with you that you don't really know. And someone really curious about your life and what you've been up to. asking you questions even, but about your personal life. Like, I'm seeing this just not be comfortable. Or if this is somebody coming back around, it's like someone that's not within your inner circle that's asking you personal questions about like your relationships and what you're involved in and what you've been doing. But I'm seeing this person is like, they want to have a physical experience with you and that's like all I'm seeing here. I'm not really seeing any type of emotional depth or like intellectual depth even. It's just like all coming from a really physical place. So... If you guys had gone through a breakup with someone that that's how they acted when you were in the relationship, it's like pursuing you physically and then like not really showing up in another way, they're still within that energy. So just so you're aware, like you recognize that all you would get from them is a physical experience, which if that's what you want, then there's no issue with that. But if that's not what you want, I'm letting you know that this is what I'm seeing here. And when you think about this more and more, I think you're going to recognize that you're going to end this connection. That's what feels right for you. Yeah, this is, this is somebody that would not get vulnerable in any other way than a physical way with you. So it's like, there's such a lack of intimacy and depth here with this person. Like, this is somebody that also could have potentially, like, shut you out. I'm seeing you be guided not to get reconnected with this person's energy if they're coming back through for you. I'm looking at Libra, Virgo, Venus. This feels so specific. It's karmic. You had to end the connection with this person because they were not working with you. This is somebody who is like the opposite of a teammate, the opposite of a team player. This is somebody that could have even like been jealous of you at times or like passive aggressive even. I'm just seeing like a really unhealed energy coming from this person. The thing is that like they may think that 
intimacy is connecting physically and like not understand that there's so much more to intimacy. So it's like, because I haven't yet seen the Seven of Swords here, it makes it seem like this person is just doing what they're doing out of like a lack of awareness even. Not that we're making excuses. You have to see what the energy is when you interact with someone and like whether or not you feel that for yourself or want that. But yeah, I'm not seeing it necessarily be like deliberate at all times on this person's end. It just seems like they may kind of be more in a mode where it's like they're kind of selfish. They need to take care of themselves. They don't really understand how to how to work with another person. You would have noticed this in your connection with them in the past. There's a lack of vulnerability. So you're starting something new. How about that? With the Fool here, something you feel hopeful about. The Fool represents some um, Uranus energy. <laughs> okay, so with the fool here it's like you feel excited and hopeful about starting something new but then the the five of pentacles is like you don't feel hopeful you may feel a bit pessimistic about something it's like maybe for some of you you're feeling unwell like you can even be under the weather a little bit but it's like maybe because you're doing something new that you didn't expect to be doing but this is happening now but it may feel a little bit scary because it's new territory for you it seems like you may still be thinking about the ending with this person. Like, maybe this is something, too, that you're still processing, Scorpio. I would definitely allow yourself to have all of the time you need to process something. Because until you do, you're not going to be able to, like, properly move on. And then there comes a time when you've worked through something and then you recognize that you're just sitting in it and kind of stagnating and that's when you need to move forward. So it's about like finding that balance between like processing something fully and then recognizing whether or not you're just keeping yourself stuck in a place. Because it looks like doors are opening up for you or like there's a new a new chapter of your life that's starting and part of you is just like not feeling good about about this. But it seems like this is something you need to recognize within yourself and, like, call out your own state of mind, even. This is somebody that would bring up past things that happened within your connection and not in a way where they're trying to problem solve. This is like someone that just can't let go of certain things because they haven't processed it and then are trying to like push this onto you when it's their responsibility to take care of it. Remember too, like energies can be reversed. You may find that you're doing this, but it's this is all about awareness, bringing things up so we can see what's going on here. Yeah, it seems like you may have started something and in the beginning you were like, this sounds like a great idea or I'm really excited to do this. And then you feel yourself like not feeling good about it. Pay attention to that because what it looks like to me is that there's going to be some sort of big conversation or announcement being made or like you're letting somebody know that you're walking away from something because like what you want, you are not finding. 
And so this is about you trying to find what you're looking for. A deeper sense of fulfillment that you're not finding in this situation. I'm seeing you find fulfillment with the Hierophant. The Hierophant represents Taurus. This may be like you approaching your sense of like um, spirituality, philosophies, things that get you connected on a higher plane. Like you may be kind of shifting your energy into this or like finding or reconnecting with something like some developing some type of belief system, something that you can put your faith in. Especially to have like Uranus and the Hierophant here, like these cards are about like having faith and having hope and like putting your belief system into something bigger than yourself and understanding like the connectivity of everything. Um, this can even be like a community that you're that you're connecting with, or it can be your higher self telling you to get out of a situation because you're not finding what you need there. For some of you, you may be connecting with a guide. It's like somebody that when you're feeling a lack of direction, they may give you some sort of direction that's helpful to you. And it brings you a sense of like relief and happiness with the sun popping out here. Yeah, it looks like there's something that you want to start or something, a space that you want to enter even. And like your fears or like you not feeling good about something or like even self-esteem wise, this is, it seems like this is what's holding you back from like fully allowing you to realize yourself, fully allow yourself to like be happy and feel connected with something. This is like some type of new beginning even with the full. So this can be like a clean slate or a fresh start that you have with something or someone or like, again, some type of new thing that you're stepping into that you're exploring. To have the sun here next to Uranus as well, this is like your soul calling you um, to step into a certain place. But for some reason, like, the way that you're perceiving yourself may be, like, having an effect on, like, how you perceive this situation or this opportunity. Or are you still holding on to something that you need to let go of? For some of you too, like for some reason I'm getting like holding on to even like unhappy memories or something like that for for some reason and it's affecting it's affecting moves that you're making. Or like you would be more happy about something if you adopted a more optimistic point of view perspective. But maybe that's something that you may be struggling with a little bit. Maybe based off of the past experience that you had. Or like something still needs to be worked through even. Yeah, it's like for some reason you're questioning this. It's like a really nice golden opportunity that's being opened up for you. But for some reason there's this feeling of like feeling weary of whatever this is maybe because you're not saying what you need to say i'm seeing this as something that you're working on it seems like in the past you could have shied away from openly talking about like your preferences, your needs, your desires, the things that you want, what brings you joy, what brings you happiness, what you feel connected with. Yeah, for, for some reason in the past, I'm seeing you may have been holding yourself back from expressing these things. 
and it, it, put, it brought you into situations where you weren't finding what you were looking for, but it's more so because like you weren't expressing what you were looking for. And so the directions you were being led were not like where you preferred to be going. So it seems like this is about, and maybe at the time you didn't even know, this is about really connecting with yourself and like what you want. I'm seeing strong solar plexus energy here. And this is like what we will to happen, what we like will to come to fruition, what we're manifesting. By taking action, by speaking it out, by voicing that, by communicating what we need to communicate. And sometimes too, it's like you could have had a past experience where you felt like you weren't heard in the past. And so you felt if you used your voice, nobody would hear you or respond or be receptive anyway. And so you just like maybe gave that up altogether. But it seems like you're reconnecting with that part of yourself now where you're recognizing the importance of that and also the effect that that has on like where you're led to. giving yourself time to sit in a situation long enough to figure out whether it's something you want or not. It seems like you're really trying to figure out too, like what's going to bring you a sense of happiness. Like, what do you feel joyful to be a part of? What feels good to be connected with? For some of you too, there's a sense of like wanting to connect to something higher than yourself, which this is so interesting for like a Scorpio reading because it's like Scorpio is so connected with like your your inner dialogue and what's going on and like intuition and esotericism and all of this but I'm seeing like some type of confusion related to like this aspect of like a higher power or your higher self even at times and wondering if you're going to find fulfillment within that and maybe too this is about like being original and creative with like how you connect with your guides and how you connect with spirit and like what that higher voice looks like and sounds like to you and getting connected with that Because, like, for some of you, you could have had, like, some some type of experience with, like, organized religion or, like, some type of organized group even that, like, really put you off from exploring this. But now maybe you're finding that you're gravitating towards this, but you're still feeling weary of it because of a past experience even that you had. But I'm seeing spirit help you through like the confusion of you sorting through this, especially when it comes to finding a deeper sense of fulfillment, discovering that for yourself and how your will and your voice is connected with that. I'm looking at Uranus, Taurus and the sun. This can also be like some type of parental figure as well. or like some type of guardian or teacher even, something like that, that you didn't have a great experience with. What it looks like to me though, is that like this new leg of the journey that you're stepping into, it's a place where if you want to get reconnected and like rediscover your voice and like all of the different uses for it, you'll be able to do that here. I actually want to get a couple more before we end this. Yeah, it's like... It's it's so strange, Scorpio. I'm seeing this like really beautiful thing being handed to you and for some reason you're like shying away from it. It's like too good to be true even. But it's, again, it's a, it's a reflective thing. It's, it's because of the way that you're feeling about yourself and, like, what's being projected onto the space. 
it's like something is really beautiful and if you were connected and feeling unified with yourself and like totally in a sense of like self-love and self-acceptance you would be able to see the beauty of of this situation and this new thing that's happening and like this new chapter of your life that you're stepping into or this chance that you're taking a new opportunity things like that but because like you're not feeling good about something or there's something going on with like the self-esteem or the self-efficacy stuff like that like the lens you're seeing this through is like something to shy away from or like protect yourself in, or you feel like you can't move within it even you're feeling really anxious Yeah, it's about starting something new, starting down a new path, one that would be filled with healing as well, healing direction. For some of you, you could be getting connected with an Aquarius. I am seeing both Uranus and Aquarius here. I'm looking at the sun, this can be Leo. I'm looking at Taurus. It looks like something is being healed with the solar plexus. And also the throat chakra. It looks like you want to send a, I'm hearing a communication, a message to someone. I am looking at the Knight of Cups falling on top of Aquarian energy. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. We all have Aquarius somewhere in our charts. This can be too about you feeling, um, you feeling like, led in a particular direction and it's something that you want to communicate or like you're being guided to communicate something important or for some of you you could be receiving a message from someone something that's being created What's interesting too is that the magician is falling underneath the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Cups can kind of be like chaos, but when we learn how to organize and use that as raw power to manifest what we want to manifest, it means like the endless possibilities of what it is that you can manifest for yourself, especially coming from like an emotionally motivated place and a very creative space as well. So at, at the end of this spread, I'm seeing like someone really in their head about starting a new direction, a new project. It's either something that you've dreamt about, something that you feel guided to explore, and or it's something involving an Aquarius. I am seeing a message being manifested currently. Uranus, Taurus, the Sun, Aquarius, Mercury. All right, my friends, we're going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.